Number 47, determine the molarity of the following solutions, right? And then we have letter B. So in this case, we have to find the molarity when we're given 78.0 grams of phosphoric acid, right? Which is P3, uh, sorry, which is H3PO4. And then they tell us that we're in one liter of the actual solution. All right, so we need to find a molarity, right? And they give us these values. So a formula should be coming to mind. And that formula is, bam, this formula, right? Molarity equals the moles of a certain solute divided by the liters of solution. More specifically, or actually not specifically, but more easily, we usually think of this formula as just capital M, capital M is molarity, equals moles over liters. So we could simplify this whole thing, but just know that it's the moles of the solute, basically it's the solid that's going to be placed in your solution. So here I have capital M equals moles, divided by liters. So if I'm solving for the molarity, that means that I should know both of these numbers. Now let's see what they gave us. Ooh, they gave us 98.0 grams of something. Grams is not the same as moles, right? But over here, they did give us the liters. So I know that this bottom number, that's already 1.00 liter, but I need to find out the moles. Well, Here's a little trick, guys, right? We should know these conversions, and especially all four of these. We're going to use these at one point in this section. But just know that there's an easy way to convert from grams into moles of the specific compound that you're looking for. And that's down here. Anytime that you have a gram value, right, and X means it could just be any element or compound, I can go to the moles by dividing by the molecular weight of that compound. Now the compound here is H3PO4, right? So we need to find the molecular weight, and I'll just put it over here. We need to find the molecular weight of H3PO4. We've done tons of problems to get a molecular weight, right? We gotta go on the periodic table. So I'm just gonna get it for you guys, all right? I assume that you guys know how to do it, but we're just pulling the numbers off of the periodic table. So let's see, for H3PO4, there's three hydrogens, so three times one, zero, zero, eight, and you can simplify, you could say like, you know, three times one, that's fine with me. We have one phosphorus, okay, and we have four oxygens. Okay, so we basically get roughly about 97.994, or 98, and that's grams per mole. Now, all you have to do to go from grams to mole, grams to mole, you need to divide by the molar mass. So I'm gonna take the weight that I have, 98.0 grams, and just divide it by the molecular weight that I found, 97.994. And that's going to tell me how many moles I have. So maybe I'll just put this on this side because I just have more room over here. Okay, now 98 divided by roughly 98. I mean, it looks like they're showing us that we have roughly one mole, right? Let's see. Yeah, so I'm just going to say one mole. And that's of H3PO4. So now I know what the mole value is, right? The moles is one mole. So now I could find the molarity. Capital M equals the mole that I found out was 1.00 moles divided by the liters, 1.00 liters. So in this case, the molarity equals one. One divided by one is one. The units you could do are mole over liter, right? Because these units don't cancel. They're not the same. Or you could just say capital M. Either one is fine with me, but this is the molarity. It's just one and that's it. Pretty cool. All right, guys, let me know in the comments if this helped you out. Hopefully it did. Um, if you want to press the like button, subscribe to the channel. 
Thank you for that. You guys rock. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Keep studying hard. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.